folks. It's another Q&A with DJ Beach Street, and today we have Cruella. Hey, guys. Hey, hi. How you doing? What's going on? First of all, I want to get into who are the members of Cruella and how did you guys become the collective known as Cruella? I'm Yasmin. I'm Rayman. Oh, Rayman. And I'm Jahan. There, <laughs> Cruella started off as a hobby, and progressively, as the months went on, we took it more and more seriously and started dropping out of school, quitting our jobs for One by one, just yeah, dropping, yeah, that, yeah, dropping yeah, like yeah. flies. Domino effect. It was Chris <laughs> first, and then he slowly convinced us to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. The name for your group. Very unique. Thank you. Yeah. How'd you guys come up with it? You're so never going to believe this. Fabulous story. Never. <laughs> Band generator. Dot Geo Cities. Is it Dot Geo Cities? Dot com? Yeah. We put our, it was, it was this cool algorithm thing. They put our faces in there. Yep. You put your faces in and, and the then it generates a band name and it was Cruella. It's like, you guys look like Cruella. Birth by the net. Well, maybe. <laughs> Birth by the net. Birth by the net. <laughs> I want to talk about EDM or electronic dance. It's kind of how most of the guys on the radio would see it. But where do you guys, being in the scene, see, you know, the progression of dance music going? Um, the funny thing is that a lot of people think like electronic dance music is a new fad, but look 10 years back, like house music is still considered electronic dance music. Uh, like there's definitely um, a, a popularity in dubstep and electro house right now, but I think it's really up to the artists and the direction they want to take it in, whether it's industrial or it's, it's really anything you want to do with it. And that's the cool thing about being in electronic dance music is that we really, every song we're making right now, it's like, what do we feel like today? So we just make what we want. Yeah. Do what you want. Yeah. But you could look at it in another way. Like you put, you put, you offered two different things, like uh, Usher and Rihanna and Afrojack and um, Kevin, Kevin Holes. What happened if they banged? Like maybe they made babies. Like that Usher and Calva Harris. Banged. I think it would be a mutant. Babies. A mutant. Mutant baby. You guys. That baby would yeah. be green. You let their, their two guys bang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be Usher and Calvin yeah. Harris and then Cruella. Yep. Yeah. That's where you guys come from. Oh, oh, we are the product of two men. Yes, oh. correct. Oh. correct. Controls. I can I can imagine the crazy schedule you guys have right now between songwriting, producing, traveling, touring, doing interviews with DJ Beach Street. What do you guys do in your free time? Free time, what is that? What is free time? Is <laughs> <laughs> you smoke cigarettes in free time. Sometimes, occasionally. Yeah. Uh, also I play FIFA. That'd probably work. Well we're home in Chicago, yeah. yeah. Once every few months you get an opportunity to play FIFA. I'd just say. troll the shit out of that game for yeah. a couple of days. Excuse when we're home, coach. when we're home, I like to cook my sister meals. Yes. yes. This is. I'd say our free time is like when we're back in Chicago. So yeah. We go back like every couple months to four days. See our family. Play with my cats. I rub their bellies. Oh. Please. Guys, three, three group band. Producer, right? Singer, songwriters, both. Singer, both. songwriters. Yeah. Yes. It's like the trifecta of EDM. Oh. How does the creative process work? Sometimes it starts off with Yasmin and me. Sometimes it's Chris. Um, it's very different every song. Yes, it's every so song. Different. We're pretty schizophrenic, so every day it's a little different. Yeah. Sometimes Yasmin and I will come to Chris with an acapella, so a song we wrote over just basic chords. And Chris will either be like, yay or nay. And if it's a yay, then he'll go in and start making a beat I around do it. Get, I do enjoy that power. He's I extremely picky. He's or nay. yes and no man. Yes. Yes, yes. yes or no. Sometimes I have a little gavel. Boom, no. Next. Judgment time. And then we'll yes. and then we'll bring him another song. So sometimes Chris will make a beat and he'll be like, yo, can you guys write over this? And Yasmin and I will write something. Like either I'll write a hook or verse, Yasmin will write a hook or verse and we'll come together. So it's a very collaborative process. Truth. And then we'll go to Chicago or the studio and sort of just figure things out. It's like a sort of like it's a puzzle. Imagine like some weird mad science kind of shit. Explosion, smoke, fire. It's weird. Any specific artists that you want to work with in the near future? <laughs> um, yeah, Night Party's on our, uh, definitely at the top of our list. It would be really cool to do a collaboration with them. I was thinking, um, I forgot her name. Friday Night? What's her name? What? Friday Night? You don't even know Katie that. Perry? No. Rebecca, Rebecca, oh, Black. Oh, Rebecca, Rebecca Black. Black. What? If I could make her some like dubstep beats. Now you're being a troll. Rebecca right. Black. Black. Hit me up for um, songs. Just for songs, though. Just for songs. This is a serious one right here, Mozza. That would be yeah. an awesome collaboration. Dream in the future. Example. Kanye West. Example. Kanye West. Yes. Example. Example, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Alive, the current single. What was the inspiration behind it? We kind of wanted that one feel good song. There's something about it that's like 
whoever we played it for, they just like it evoked a certain emotion in them, and we really felt like I feel like any body of work needs that song, that one song that people have this emotional attachment to. And yeah, and what's funny is like we we always try to experiment in the studio um, with like different types of like instrumentals or lyrics or stuff like that. And once and we were experimenting, and once that was there, once we had the layout for it, it was like we can't not. Do it. You know what I mean? I played like some demo for my sister, and she started crying. Like she yeah, was so oh my god. Her, like, that was crazy. So yeah, we couldn't we couldn't not do it once it was built. Favorite place to play? Clubs or festivals? Festivals. festivals. You can crowd surf at festivals. That's what I mean. We have played a hell of a lot of cool clubs. Though. Yeah. Like, there's something about festivals and playing during sunset. I, I love playing during sunset. There's something like beautiful about seeing like sweaty people wearing neon and just color like I love a colorful <laughs> crowd we love just seeing people wearing different costumes and it's just really cool to be in the booth watching everyone seeing people crowd surf and people seeing people holding up their signs as the sun is going down like I'll never it's forget magical like that. yeah yeah we were in AC all of us were in AC interesting for... couple of days yes yeah. yes I almost got arrested <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. I want to say we were in VIP at mix partying so a bottle of Jameson, took a mental note. Right. Stay alive video in the booth. Bottle of Jameson. Bottle of Jameson. Took a note. Tonight. I'm just I'm just saying. Tonight. 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 Bottle of Jameson. I'm just saying. Next time there's a there's, there's a tour. A Cruella Jameson sponsored tour? Maybe. I wish. Maybe. I've tried to holler at them many times on Twitter. I'm the problem. I think I'm the problem. I don't even think it's that. I think we they're afraid we're gonna ruin their image. I think I really think that's it. I think no. we're too, yeah. we're too gross. Well, no, we're gonna taint it. They're just being nice. Trust me. Jameson's already paying us to drink their their own. Yeah. Yeah. Like six dollars a day. Something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Goes six directly into shot. the Cruella account. They're advancing us six dollars per bottle, so we're paying like fourteen dollars. So and then they're like you have to tweet a picture of you guys and Jameson once a week. So we do that and post it on our Facebook. No one has Someday, to know. Someday though, Jameson toy bus. That yes. would be amazing. They, Jameson, they like, yo. It looks like a Jameson bottle on the side and it says Cruella. And you're like, whoa. I tried it. With, with a dark green. Yeah. A giant, a giant bottle of Jameson on wheels. That is awesome. Oh, that's dope. That's and dope. In, in the snout part, like the thin part, that's where the driver is. <laughs> right in there. That is awesome. Cruella. Where are we going to see Cruella in the next... The years. troll tour. The troll yeah. tour. We're, we're working on it with him. He doesn't want to do the troll tour. I'm down with the troll I'm, tour. I'm really for the troll. It's, it's, it's called the troll heart. The Play troll heart. The troll heart tour. Oh, okay. yeah. For real though, what is after Play Heart tour? Um, we're actually going to take a couple months off to go in the studio and just work ignore music. the rest of the world and finish up records because we're going to come out with an album in less than a year. Nice. Um, festivals, the big festivals in the spring we're definitely going to do. Yeah. It's more music. Up. It's kind of hard working on music on the road, so we need to like lock ourselves in the studio here for a couple months. Awesome, you guys heard it first. Album, pretty what? soon. What, a year, under a year, about a year? Less yeah, than a year. there's gonna be Less singles and maybe an EP, who knows what's Single gonna Single coming come. very soon. Remix. We have a couple, we haven't released one or two that we play out, we playing them tonight. Okay. Um, so, sometimes well, you, you think, get that maybe? feeling, sometimes you get that feeling when you make something that you want to put on. Sometimes like, maybe we'll just play it out for a while and have fun with it. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Awesome. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Any last plugs or anything you want them to know about? I think uh, Troll Heart, that's troll it. Troll Heart. Keep your eyes peeled for the Troll Heart tour. We are Stay coming for you. Too. Yes, we are.